have approached these spots too. The success rate for black is very low in these situations. No, I can't think of a lot of wins on demand with black in recent years. No, there are there aren't too many. They they happen from time to time, obviously, but it's uh, it's um, it's it's pretty hard. But it, it's a bit about mindset as well. If you're still tilted from losing as as white, obviously it doesn't help. Uh, um, but I don't know. We'll see. I have the feeling that something is going to happen in the game. That we're going to get some kind of some kind of excitement at the very least. They're about to begin. Rajavov is one draw away from winning the World Cup 2019. Ding Liren with the black pieces. What do you think? E4 or D4? Uh, I usually, not to give away too much, but I usually play E4 myself when I draw as white. But I think they're, um, all good first moves are, are good when you need to draw. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I said the same thing earlier in E4. There's more forcing lines where stuff disappears. So, yeah. Yes. yes. <clears throat> we shall see. Come on, let the games begin. What are we waiting for? The arbiter is looking somewhere. He's waiting for a sign. Yeah, it's been 15 minutes now. Yeah, and here we are. One E4. Wow. I guess it's gonna go C5. Yeah, it did, it's the rouser. It's a rouser. Yeah. Wow. It's not a bad choice, I gotta say. Not at all the worst choice when you need uh, when you need uh, when you need to win a spot. Yeah, the most famous such situation was Kayakin versus Karana in the candidates, whatever year that was, twenty fifteen. Yeah. Where yeah. I have to say it was a huge success for Karana in the sense that he, he got a playable game and in, in the end, he 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 lost, but it ha didn't have so much to do with the uh, with the opening. Rajav goes for a much safer line. Kayakin went for the main line, bishop g5 in that game, but Rajav goes for bishop e2, e5, knight b3, bishop e7, bishop g5, which yeah, is more of a solid approach. Yeah, I cannot say I like it from Rajavov's point of view. He's getting, he's giving Ding and uh, an eminently playable uh, position. Yeah, some imbalance. Ding has the bishops. G6, yeah, but, F5 like, in the air. Sort of an, an imbalance, but but he does have the bishop. I think it was a fairly uh, poor choice of opening from from a Java. He just went bishop g4, of course, exchanging the light square bishops would be nice for him. Ding goes bishop e6, so that, at the very least, if they're exchanged, it's on e6. Yeah. Castle g6. So g6, very natural, intending f5. Now, if... I guess white would probably want to take on e6. Uh, then you have to go back to c3, you don't want to go on e3. Ruin your pawn structure. Eh, I don't. I don't like this. Not one bit, for Raja. Okay. I, I mean, I. I don't think it's worse, but it's a playable position from for for Ding. It's everything he could have hoped for. I think. He did take on e6. F takes e. Obviously played. Is not yeah, it's pausing. just knight c3, I think. Maybe yeah, think about knight e3, but why would he do that? Yeah, knight c3 played. Yeah. I guess it's still solid for white, but there's no reason at all that black should be worse. I think if if there, there were no knights on the board or uh, 
the bishop was traded for one of the knights, then uh, you could make the argument that uh, white would be better. But now white, both white knights, white knights make a fairly pitiful impression at at the moment. Uh, and uh, the knight on c6 is not doing badly, preparing to go to d4 if it's allowed and. Black simply has a, has a good game, he has a lot of space, and it's not at all obvious what White wants to do. What does Black want to do? This is not clear, but as as is shown by the game, he, ha he has a bunch of easy moves. Mm -hmm. And in a Blitz right. game, that's all you really, you really need. You make those easy moves, and then you think about a play plan later on. Now he's gone h5. It's all, all very, very simple, logical, and it's not that he's really better. I'm not claiming it can be better, but he has a playable position. Yeah. Trouble was maybe hoping for the knight orf, where in the poison pawn, for example, where he's a specialist, there's so many draws. But here, he has to work. Yeah. Two d5 played. Yeah, I would say this is, this is good stuff for uh, for Ding. Can Rajavov play E D E D F four or is that suicide? Yeah, that's was my first thought as well. Uh, I feel like it should work. Knight F four, E F four, H four would win except for uh, well, Queen G five or ninety six. Mm. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe it wasn't so so clear. Maybe he could have, he could have done that. Didn't happen. He went d5, queen to c3. Not sure oh. what that's about. Maybe he wants queen c5. Yeah, queen c5 or knight c5. It looks artificial. Like A5 is maybe on the cards as well. Ding, as usual, ahead on the clock. 2.30 versus 4 minutes at this point. Yeah. When rook f6, oh. queen c5, queen f7. This looks very unnatural. From black? Yeah. I don't know. I don't like leaving the queen there and... On c5. What about c4 now? He played c3. c4, d4. Oh, c4, d4, and I to c1. Yeah. Didn't look too bad. c3. So what do you do here? h4, white goes h3. It's not so... Not so clear. Sort of thinking of queen c7, intending b6, trapping the knight, but I don't see. I it looks like it just blunders upon to to ed. Um, oh yeah, ed rook d5, b6, queen c4. Yeah. Oh, queen f7 back. When we what? Uh -huh. Wow. Okay. Yeah, queen c4, queen f7 back. If if, if rook ah, f gotcha. 97. Wow. So queen c7 might be a serious move. Let's see if Ding spots it, because queen f7 return looks so hard to yeah. see in a blitz game. And no, he hasn't done that. He's yeah, queen c7. Maybe White is just in trouble. Like he could go a4 and queen a3, but that just looks horrible. White, black takes on e4 or whatever. Looks like he's much better. Yeah. Didn't happen. He went rook d7, queen b6. Yeah. Now, maybe the tables are turning. That's five coming. 
So, I mean, like, I'm curious, like, was there anything at all after queen c7? You can go f4, then maybe b6, take on f4, let run. Yeah. Maybe white is just busted after queen c7. It's a nice spot, but yeah, this return motive must yeah. be acting with. But this again goes to show, like, don't play this sort of position, like, uh, for for white. I mean, it, it's just, yeah, it, it's not a surprise that something turn, suddenly turned up for for black, considering that the position was just unclear from the opening. So, but now, yeah, I don't like h4 without really. Feels like it. H3 for white is more useful than than H4. He's finally activating his knight. Black is a bit stuck. His queen on F7 once again. I, I I don't really don't really like. Looks like he's just completely stuck now. Yeah. And Seven it, and A6 could be hanging. He's spending a lot of time. It's down to one minute versus two fifteen, which is out of character for Ding. Yeah. No, he's, he's getting going. desperate now. I mean, I, I don't really necessarily think his position is too bad, but where are the counter chances? What did he do? He went king h7. Yeah. Yeah, our job very close. Yeah, I guess now rook d3 is a move, b4 is a move. You don't even have to cash in immediately. Yeah, King H7 is not a sign that Ding has a crushing plan up his sleeve. No, no, no. Yeah. That That's might have been his one chance as Queen 7 Just go B4, A4. B4 played, yep. Ah, he played B4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nice. He's very calm under pressure, this Rajab guy, no? It's amazing. It's truly amazing. Maybe it just feels like there's no pressure. Yeah. It's ding down to 24 seconds. Rajab still has a minute. Uh. 22. Of course, I get three seconds for move, but it's not a lot. So d4 looks like desperation. He's looking for some bishop e3 trick in the end. Yeah, takes twice bishop e3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not gonna blunder that though. No. I like c4. C4, the knight d3. When knight d3 immediately. I'm not sure I like knight d3. No? Yeah. yeah. Do you see we get some squares now? Yeah, we do get some squares. No, no, you didn't take. You went rook d7. I don't get that. So what is his plan? Like rook d7, c4, rook f3? No, queen c5 was played. I was just toying with some idea with bishop d8 but you can just go back to c5 and if bishop d7 you can take queen 5 okay uh, now mm, mm, yeah I would have liked to see c4 to be honest but it's not like white is in trouble no no it's no, no. Like control it's too great for white but okay yeah it's still great but it doesn't have the C file. There, I would say there are some minuscule chances here for Black to to drum up something. Ding also on his very last seconds. I think we should go to full screen view. It's gonna be hard, too hard to fold the extra uh, little board. Yeah, now it's it's uh, D four has been won. Raja is in uh, is in cruise control now. Knight is the f6 square. No, this will be the last game. 
And once again, this whole playing H4 earlier as black without any plan just turns out weakens his own king, gives white squares. It was uh, was a very bad plan. Wow, Rajabov finishing in style, winning the queen here. Queen e4, rook b6, rook d7. Uh, he Petit played... Yeah. As we okay. Saw Oops, dropping the rook there. Thing continues a bit, but okay. Yeah. It's not much to hope for here. It's a moot. It's out of inertia, obviously. Yeah, that's a five. And Ding resigns. Yeah, 96. It's the end of the game, right? Yeah. Yep. Well, what can you say? I mean, the, the comeback from Rajabov being down in the final, beating Mamadyarov, then Maxim, and uh, not least Ding in, in, in a grueling match. It's, uh, it's an amazing performance. Yeah, congratulations to him. Yeah. Who would have thought after he was down one and a half half that this is how it would end? But well earned, Timur Rajabov, tremendous event. Yeah, it's just so it showed such great character in this final. It's it's amazing coming back and today with those nerves. Also against Mamidyarov, calculate out calculating him in that decisive game. Uh, beating Chong and uh, and um, MVL in impressive games as well. It's, yeah, it's simply been uh, been a wonderful event for him and an absolutely deserved winner. Absolutely, we we'll see both these guys back in. Well, we we'll see them back before, but they will both be in the candidates if Rajabov decides to play. Ding Liren, of course, qualified on all fronts. Do you think Ding is going to be very sad? Yeah. I mean, he was already qualified for the candidates. Uh, he's been there for three weeks, and I think for him, having lost the last time uh, in the in the final to 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 Aronia, yeah. losing again in the final is is a massive disappointment. So I think he has such high ambitions at this point that he's not going to take a whole lot of positives from from the event, but he, he should. He's done so well winning, uh, winning tie, tie breaks, uh, seemingly effortlessly time after time against very strong players. But he came up short to short today, and evidently was quite tired. 